Only one in three young people with a mental health diagnosis access NHS treatment or care. A statistic published by Young Minds from an NHS survey. Let's think about that statistic. Is there a young person in your life who is part of that statistic? Or have they not reached that point yet because they are still on a waiting list? I am one in three. Lucky me. But was it so lucky to have my cries for help silenced due to a lack of funding and resources? Time and time again, I was turned away by community services in my area until my risk to self was too high. By then, the only option was to be sectioned and sent 200 miles from home to a private hospital funded by the NHS. I am one in three. But what about the other two thirds? What about the young people without a diagnosis? Are their cries silenced too? Because they slipped through the system and didn't make it. When most people move house, they look for low crime rates, schools of good Ofsted reports, and neighbours you could easily outdo with your Christmas light display. <laughs> When I moved house, I prioritised making sure my address fit the catchment for a unique NHS service. This is a team in my area that can offer me support with therapy, medication, employment, or simply catch up over coffee on my lunch break. A Young Mind survey found that over three quarters of parents had said their child's mental health had deteriorated whilst waiting for support from Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services. The criteria for this service? You must have multiple A&E attendances and psychiatric hospital admissions, or to put it in colloquial terms, be a revolving door patient. What if this service was offered as an early intervention instead of funding out of area private beds? Imagine there were two other young people speaking beside me, inspiring politicians from other nations, because we have a mental health system that funds overall well-being. You've heard from one in three. You may never hear from the other two thirds. If we don't join charities like Young Minds to end the wait and start funding early intervention now.